name's Leo, and I'm a barber apprentice. I saw a famous barber on TV and wanted to become one myself. So I went to a barber school, and I worked at this place for two years now. While being a very flashy job, it happened to be a super tough job. You have to be an apprentice for years before you get to actually cut hair. And before doing so, you have to do cleanup and assistance for other barbers, refill on stocks, and other simple tasks. As for my shop, there was a rule in place that you had to train after hours. So I had to wake up early and work till late to train. So I come home around 10 p.m. every day. Hey you! Right there! That's awful! Is that what you're going to do to the customer? I told you this before, right? Do better! I can't stand this! I was going to be a famous barber! Why do I have to do simple tasks like these? So frustrating! God, this sucks! I watched as I threw a can across the field, and where it landed, there was a person standing there. Huh? A girl? Hold on. Is she trying to stab herself? What's going on? Which means... Oh god, oh god, oh god! I rushed towards the girl! Wait! Calm down! Huh? Ah! At that moment, I slipped on the can I had thrown and fell right in front of the girl. Ow! Just then, she was wearing her school uniform. She walked up to me and said, Are you okay, sir? I jumped up and grabbed the scissors from her hands. I don't know what happened to you, but isn't it too quick for you to die? Uh, die? What are you talking about? Huh? I then realized, under the light of the moon, the girl's hair was in horrible condition. I was just going to fix my hair with those scissors. I screwed up. It wasn't a suicide. You were worried about me, right? Thank you very much. The girl laughed, staring at me calmly. She then took the scissors back and put them against her hair. Hey, I want to ask you some things. Should I cut your hair instead? Uh, huh? I'm a barber in training, so I mean... Really? As an apology for cutting in on you. Oh, thank you very much. Luckily, I had my stuff on me. I put my bag around my waist, used the bag she had on her, and used it as a cloth. Then I began fixing her hair. The name's Leo. Nice to meet you. I'm Hanayo. Mrs. Hanayo? What happened to your hair? Um... You don't have to say it if you don't want to. My classmates did this. According to her, she had long hair, enough to make a beautiful braid. But in school, she became the target of bullying by the popular girls. She was faced with a lot of small attacks. However, today she was brought to a back alley, and since she got in their way for some reason, they went and cut up her hair, since the girls too. Wouldn't they know how important hair was for a girl? No, they knew and did this. Are you not going to tell your parents? I don't want them to worry. So that's why she was at the park, huh? All right, all done. Wow, thank you. Mrs. Hanayo, you're very beautiful. So this style looks great on you. You're an amazing barber. Thank you very much. Her smile made me feel so happy and accomplished. I wanted to do a lot more for you, but that's the most I can do right now. This is plenty. I'm truly very happy. I got embarrassed for myself because I was so down because my boss yelled at me. Seeing Mrs. Hanayo's smile really made me remember why I chose this job in the first place. Um, how much for this? I don't need anything. But... You modeled for me. It was good practice for me. And you could tell your parents that you were scouted as a model today. In fact, I'm the one that wants to thank you for helping me remember what's most important. Then let me give you something in return later. I didn't want to end things just yet, so I shared my contact information with her and dropped her home near her house. She was a very nice girl. And the next morning, she sent me a message. Hello, Mr. Leo. Thank you for yesterday. My mother was very surprised, but because it was so cute, they didn't figure out anything. That's great. How's everyone's reaction at school? There was a girl I barely knew who said I looked cute. Yep, you look great, Mrs. Hanayo. It's all thanks to you, Mr. Leo. I've never enjoyed school like this before. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, I'm so envious of high school. Hey, why are you smiling like that? Did you make a girlfriend? It's not a girlfriend, sir. Really? Oh, yeah. Sir, could you help me train after hours today? It's rare for you to invite me. You look unhappy when I invite you after hours. I want to get better, sir. All right. I'll train you for however many hours you want. After meeting Mrs. Hanayo, I began to put more effort into my work and training. Her smile had changed my life. A month later, Mrs. Hanayo said she wanted to thank me, so we went out on the weekends. Hello, sir. Hey, Mrs. Hanayo. 
I didn't know you worked at such a fancy place. Well, I'm still in training today. What are we doing today? Today, I want you to be my model for hairdressing. Uh-huh. She looked puzzled, but I sat her down, and I made her hair fit her outfit for the day. Let me do a little makeup, and here you go. Oh, wow. Let's go out then. Yes. Mrs. Hanayo's eyes were twinkling during our date, and we went shopping, bowling, and went to the arcade. It wasn't anything special, but I had a blast. Um, can we take pictures in the photo booth? She dragged me to the corner where they were only girls in. I hadn't taken a photo in a photo booth in 10 years, and I was shocked to see how much it had changed. My eyes were huge and my face was tiny! Oh god, who is that? I think that's Mr. Leo. <laughs> to think that the girl standing next to me smiling was the girl sitting in the park was very emotional for me, when suddenly... Is that you, Hana? Huh? Three girls came from behind us, about the same age as Mrs. Hanayo. I realized they were the girls bullying her from seeing her body tremble in fear. <laughs> is that old man your boyfriend? <laughs> Mr. Leo is not old. Are you talking back to me? <laughs> You're annoying. I'm gonna make you bald next time. I can stand you talking bad about me, but not Mr. Leo. Hey, go get me a clipper. <laughs> Mrs. Hanayo was glaring at them, but trembling as well. Stop trembling while talking back, loser. It's normal to tremble when facing a large amount of bullies, you know. Huh? Get lost, old man. Of course, I didn't listen. I stood between Mrs. Hanayo and the bullies and glared at them. You called me an old man, so let me step into this. And because I was the one who fixed your messed up makeover... What? Are you trying to hook up with high school girls? <laughs> That's against the law, you know. Let me just say this. Cutting other people's hair is also against the law. For assault, you know? Ha, uh, we didn't cause her any harm, though. Hair is much like arms or legs, you know. If you cut it without permission, that's against the law. Don't get cocky with an adult. The girl started to panic a little. Wait, you cut her hair too. You broke the law as well, right? I cut her hair with her permission. That isn't against any laws. Even you can understand that, right? Or are you too stupid to get that as well? Are you making fun of me? I'm not. In fact, I'm taking this so seriously that I was going to report this to the police. Huh? Police? Right, Mrs. Hanayo? Of course, we never talked about any of that, but she seems to understand where I was going with this. Yeah, if you continue with this, that's what we were going to do. Are you serious? Wait, we were just told to hold you in place by Kusumi. Kusumi was the one who cut her hair. Wait, you guys thought it was funny too, right? I don't want to go to the police. If you're going to the police, take Kusumi, okay? We'll tell the police she did it too. You guys! So, friendship between bullies is weak, huh? So how do you want to do this, Mrs. Kusumi? I'm an old man, so I know all the possible ways I can report you to the police. Bullying's a hot topic too, right? So you'll be quite famous on SNS, too. You look like the type who wants to be popular. So I guess this isn't all that bad for you. Uh, t try if you can. I don't care what happens to that ugly girl next to you at school. Right then, I started to record her using my phone. Cool. A crime for intimidation, too. Uh, you recorded that? If you're going to intimidate someone, might as well go all out, you know? I pulled out a photo from my photo app and showed it to the girls. The photo was... Wait, I thought you were just a barber. Well, I have a lot of friends, you know. Please spare us. Please spare us. Hey, wait up. This picture was from Halloween. Didn't think I'd ever see it again. Mr. Leo, thank you. <laughs> from that day on, Mrs. Hanayo became my number one customer. Well, I haven't received any payment from her, though. So she comes regularly to model. At school, the bullies all stopped targeting her. And she's enjoying her high school life now. I'm having such a great time seeing her grow beautiful every time I see her. According to her, all the targets that were bullied by the three girls told the teachers, and the teachers soon found out about them cutting up her hair. This became a huge incident, and they changed schools as if they were running away. Even though they are still kids, they need to be punished for what they did. I hope they reflect back on their actions because of this incident. As for me, I began focusing on my training, and my skills were getting a lot better. I didn't think you'd make it for years but you'll be a proper barber quite soon. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. 
Of course, my first customer will be Mrs. Hanayo. A story of a run-down barber in training and a bullied high school girl. She continues to be my mental support.